fast. You drink, but drink properly. 250 mils per proper cup to 300. Within drink, uh, not sip. Uh. Some people tell me they sip the whole day long. Okay, like you get good water, but you want the oxygen, you should drink it in 10 minutes. Okay? Drink it. Why? Because the oxygen loading is high. Your cell oxygen will go up 50 to 25% in 2 to 5 minutes. That's very fast and that's very high. It stays up for one and a half hours and then it goes back to your normal. So the correct way, because I recognize some of the people around us have got diabetes, manis, darabungi, cancer. Drink it properly. If you're going to take this water, do it properly. If you're normal, never mind. <laughs> Drink 251 ma every two hours. Okay, that will keep your oxygen nice and high. Alright, that allows a lot of the healing to happen. Okay, bathing. One bar is the equivalent of four or five times of the drinking. But there's one added effect. You detox. So your toxins come out in the bath water. So it depends how severe. I'm sharing you this then the, the case studies much faster. So just get a bit of theory. Don't fall asleep now. Huh? <laughs> so one is drinking is number one. Soaking is number two. And number three is gel. I know, I know a lot of women are buying the gel for beauty. I think you all heard my, this joke before, we had, we had an Arabic man, was Robert's client, and he bought the gold, gold essence. You know why? Men also vain, but they like easy. So they like one product, just give me one product, don't care how many four steps. So the Elo gold, even though it's expensive, has got a very fast effect. So he bought 14, you know, <laughs> it's expensive stuff, you can check the price, your client, the one from Arabian. He had seven wives, seven wives, okay? After two months, he came back, he wanted 14. So they asked him, so your wife like it very much, is it? He said, no, all I use, they all never mind. <laughs> that is how much the men like it, because they want a single product, okay? Now I'm sharing this with you because for us doctors, we're not thinking that way. We're thinking about yellow gel for skin, yellow gel for healing. But it's always the patients will think of all sorts of things. The men will put on their hair. They see, my hair grew back. <laughs> that to me is extra bonus. Lah. I give you one secret, then I move on. The trick is when you use ELO gel, just think it this way, is the base product. It increases the oxygen. When you increase the oxygen, whatever skin product that you're using, whatever, will work better. Because normally, say the absorption is 30%, you put the gel, the oxygen goes higher, maybe 50%, 60% absorption. That's why a lot of our beauticians in Singapore and our aesthetic doctors, they use ELO gel as their base for It's their secret formula to enhance the rest of their things. Okay, one secret for the day. Alright, there we go. How is it different from other things? Again, I think I've said a lot of this. Okay, your left. Normal, this, this is oxygenated water that you're looking at. You notice it's a bit higher, 7.8, maximum is 8. Yeah. LO water is between 15 to 19. Actually, I've seen it goes up to 21 ppm. That's a lot, huh? That's a lot of oxygen. That water is, depends which part of Malaysia. It ranges from 4 to 7. Huh? Um, how long does it actually stay? As I mentioned before to you, we, we, we recap it, open and close and then open glass. One week, open glass eight hours. So it's actually pretty, pretty long. It won't just disappear on you. On the other hand, you also have to think of it as very good water. Now, a lot of people think water is so simple. It's not. Our body expends a lot of energy when you drink, right? We expend a lot energy making drinking water into cell water. We actually spend quite a lot of energy in it. Now if we give you something that's close to your cell type of water, what will happen? A lot of the energy can do a lot of other things. Um, this has been tested both sides in relation to Singapore. Why is it important to us? Okay, it's the other thing that um, you need to pay attention to. This is a cell. Big men, you've got 70 trillion cells. That's a lot of cells. Women, smaller size, 65 to 60 trillion. Not trillion, not million, not billion. That's how much we have in, a, in our bodies. 
the one that you need to concentrate on is the one in the circle. Every cell is like a, a complete factory. We've got the brain, the nucleus that thinks what to do. And this thing called the powerhouse is called the mitochondria. Okay, so what happens? It takes your food with oxygen and it converts it into ATP. So you want to know the meaning of uh, energy in medicine, you just use the word ATP. So what happens? Why do we need it? You need it for everything. If right now you are sitting here and you're feeling tired, your cell is also tired. And, and the base core is a lack of ATP. So it's used for everything, normal cell functions, digestion, absorption, excretion, is used for repair, infections, removal of cancer cells, literally everything. Okay, so when you don't have oxygen, can we get energy? Trick question, yes or no? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know runners? They will run, 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 and then suddenly they start getting cramps, right? But they can still run. What's happening? The oxygen is not enough and God made us so wonderful. We can actually live without oxygen to a certain extent. So there's a pathway, it's called an anaerobic pathway. We will produce two ATP. But it's okay. It's okay. But when you have enough oxygen and one molecule of glucose, you actually produce 32 ATP. That's 16 times more. So in your body at any one time, most of the times we hope you are using oxygen for the mitochondria to give you more energy. The problem is, depends. For example, people with cancer, the oxygen levels are very low where the tumor is. Very, very low. We are talking about, okay, I won't say average age here, lah, just believe me. For the average age here, your tissue oxygen should be about 79. Good thing about some young ones here, they change the average age here. 79, okay. But what we find is when you've got diabetes, daratingi, any of the chronic, it's about 10 to 15% lower than normal people. This is a standard. You can Google it, it's a medical text. But cancer patients can go so low, where the cancer is, whether it's breast cancer, prostate cancer, it can be as low as 10, 9. At those levels, it's very hard to treat, even radiotherapy, they tell you radio-resistant, chemo-resistant. So it is very, very important when the oxygen comes out, your natural cells will pick up, but it will also help the absorption of all other things you're taking. Some of you like supplements, some of you like treatment, it actually increases the availability of most things. Okay, why, how do we know if LO water can actually, ah, question, doctor, we breathe one. Right? So how can we drink water and increase oxygen, yeah? So this was a study done by Monash University. First of all, you must know, uh, we breathe in our lung, but we respire, respire, make ATP in our cell. Are you following me there? You breathe in your lung, but the action actually takes place at the cell. It's very important to understand. So how did the oxygen go from the lung to the cell? It went through the blood and the plasma, yeah? Those are all liquid. They're liquid. So the most natural way for oxygen to go through is actually through liquid. Okay, so the question is got proof or not? This is done in uh, Australia. Actually, there are many tests coming out, uh, but you all have to wait for Akatatan. So what is it? What we did was we took human prostate cancer and we injected it into milk mice, mice without immune um, uh, capability. Both got injected, of course naturally both were gonna prostate cancer, it's on the shoulder. Then we measured the tumor hypoxia level, meaning is the tumor low in oxygen? And then you also measure the size of the cancer. So what did they find? The question is, can ELO actually go directly to the cells? Is there any cell bioactivity? Okay, this is the mouse, huh? You all know this is the mouse, huh? The blue thing is the mouse. Can you see the rib cage? Okay. 
So what their circle is, is the tumor, left and right. And then below is the liver, that's why it's red. So what do you see? First of all, the one on the right is where they drink tap water. So tap water for sure. Either way, the, the cancer will grow. The question is how big. Can you see on the right it's a lot bigger than on the left? Can you also see the color on the right is green and yellow, on the left is blue? What does that mean? With the yellow group, oh, some more pictures, let me see. First of all, the, the size of the tumor you can see. Ah. You will notice the yellow group, the tumor size is much smaller. That means it's actually control the rate of increase. And on the tap water, it just grew and grew. Secondly is, when we look at the lighting up, remember one? Do you notice the one on the right, it lights up green? Green and red means it's got hypoxia or low oxygen. The one that drank aloe is blue. What does blue mean? Blue means it's now normoxic or the oxygen has actually gone there. But how did the mice get it? Did they breathe it or drink it? Drink. They drank it. So the two things is what was you getting out. I mean, they say, round and round is saying the same thing. When you drink, it actually goes and reduces the hypoxia or rather it brings up your oxygen. I don't know why doctors now they cannot say direct, but <laughs> it brings up the oxygen. And is there any biotin? Yes, the tumor actually reduces. Now, I have to bring a Hungarian study into play because they did a similar study, but they used woman cervical cancer and ovarian cancer and injected it into the mice. Now what happened was this, the only difference was this, 14 days before they injected the cancer, the, the mice drank aloe water first. Now what is shocking is this, half of them didn't even get the cancer. So what does it mean? They didn't even get the cancer. Could it mean when your oxygen levels are normal or high, your own body can fight off cancer? Okay, I think I've seen this over. Oh, then some photo went and asked us, can we try human beings? Uh, I don't think anyone will volunteer like. <laughs> okay, so actually what does it do? Aloe water, all it does is a very, very simple thing. It just naturally brings up your oxygen levels increases your hydration and cuts off hypoxia so that your own cells can function. So it is very, very, very important. It's not lyrical, so please. I've many people say, you know, water cured this and cured that because in Malaysia, I don't know why, it works very fast. I always say it takes two to four to six months. You know why? Biology. <laughs> your stomach cells take five days to change liver and skin four to six weeks, bone three months to three years. So you want to recover, you've got to wait for your body to recover the tone. So it will take time. But the Malaysians swear to me, after 10 days, they're okay. I wouldn't believe it unless I saw the photos and the blood test. And it is true. <laughs> yes, today they're presenting some people how they reverse. It's really very fast in Malaysia. So I only got two conclusions. Either you got super genes that just need help, or the other way around. <laughs> you eat so much soda food that brings down your immunity, very little bit will help you a lot. It's true. Penang, I go, same thing. And with an audience, also, 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 huh? I'm telling them two to three months. And they call me, doctor, doctor, two hours, my ulcer heal, I show you, my husband can tell you it worked. And I'm going, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, Human being, we are really fantastic the way God made us to recover. Its function really is to reduce hypoxia. This roundabout way of saying, normalize your oxygen level, okay? How has it helped? Okay, now you get the basic. Uh, we'll show you a series of slides because people then ask me, okay, it seems you say it's not miracle water. It's not. The miracle is your own self. What can it work? 
Don't make things difficult. I find people make things very difficult for themselves. They ask me, does it work for cancer? It works for pancreatic cancer, but does it work for breast cancer? Or breast cancer doesn't work for thyroid cancer. Remember something, we all, even though you've got 70 trillion cells, maybe 65, we all came from one cell. You know, my father mother came from one cell, it's called the totipotent cell. What that one cell needs, every cell in your body needs. And I tried to illustrate to you, oxygen is so important, it's so basic. It will affect every single pathway. So what you're seeing is not a set of miracles, okay? It's a set of logic, all right? Again, medical disclaimer, because we all doctor 6,000 patients later also, we'll, we'll still disclaim, because unless we, we do the my study, the human trials, we will not comment. So it's go ongoing, but we're going to start this. So challenges. Uh, we just made a, 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 a many more than this, you can, and you can ask questions later, but in general, because most people suffer from diabetes, high blood pressure, atherosclerosis, or cholesterol, uh, fatty liver, alcoholic liver, wound healing, lung disease, dementia, cancer, okay? But these are set of what happened to people. So this is a 53-year-old Indian male. He had type 2 diabetes and oral hypoglycemics, and always it comes together, heart, atherosclerosis, and cholesterol. Typical Indian vegetarian. So what happened? We just started on 1.5 liters of water, the way I said to drink it. So what do we see? These are the readings. Before ELO, okay, blood sugar level, do you all know normal levels? Fasting sugar, fasting meaning you sleep the whole night, 10 hours later you check. Normal is between 4 to 7. Okay, anything above 7 is high. So if you look, he's 8.9 8 somewhere there. So you notice as he drank, he started dropping. The minute he's below 7, it's called normalized. Okay, so you notice it's sustained. Uh, the other important thing is he didn't change his diet. We want people to change their diet. But this happened to be independent. That means even though he didn't change his diet, okay? HbA1c is one of those things, those of you who see doctor every three months, they'll take your blood. Anything less than a 0.5% drop is actually considered a very good drug. So a 1% drop is actually huge. So what happened in this patient? It's not just the, med the, the levels came down. This came down as we are reducing the medicine. Because that's what we've been finding. As we are giving people the water, they start, we always tell them, please check your sugar, please check your sugar. Because if the sugar starts dropping down, you become a bit mumble, you know, because your sugars are low. So you have to cut the medicine. This one, oh, this one's a Malaysian. She used to fly in, and I think she's from Ipoh or Kampa. Diagnosed since 1997, so she has both. For diabetes, she takes oral hypoglycemics over eating and injection insulin. Um, so when she feels like she comes to Singapore for a bath, most of the time she just drinks. Um, saying the regime is the same. Now notice, uh, this is a very interesting case. What did I say was normal fasting sugar? For the for seven. seven. What is the sugar? 14. The first one. 14. Sorry, my point is not... Um, oh, you can see, okay. 14.1. It's very, very high and she's on insulin. Okay? And you look at the bottom, you look at the bottom. She's on 22 units and 10. This is the insulin besides the oral. So what happened? She started drinking. You notice the first thing, boom! Within one month, the sugar dropped. Okay? We are always watch out for that. Not everyone, we always say three to six months, but sometimes, do you Malaysia, huh? <laughs> one month, boom! She came down. So some of them told me, no, no. Is, is, is the Indians, I said, this one Chinese. Then after I met Dato, the Malays, all the same. The universal divider is Malaysian. <laughs> so it must be the Sadaf food, that's my conclusion, okay? Because in Europe, you ask, well, this does not happen, I don't know why. But the response is, this is ridiculous, and there's no drug in medicine that works like this. So it's not a drug, it's your own cells just started working. Now what happened, you notice when she comes, she drinks, she always drinks. In those days, they didn't have aloe water in Malaysia. So they'll come, bungkus, put in the aeroplane, put in the suitcase, put in the luggage, hopefully, and then cross the, 
causeway. Okay? They'll just keep doing it. But notice what happened now is here. In fact, I tell you something, your price is better than our price in Singapore. So the Singaporeans came, can we, can we also bring back? Then we come, 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 the cost of transport, not worth it. But you look at her drop. Second thing is, she'll come and bathe. Remember I mentioned bathing has got an extra stimulant effect and a detox. So we have this problem. Now you notice, uh, by the time she's in March, you notice we literally have to cut down the insulin to eight. And you look at the last one, seven is already very normal. The insulin had to cut from 22 to 16, from 10 to 6. And this is a significant drop. I, I need to flip faster, so I'll just keep going. This is high blood pressure. This 20, for 20, 20 years, 65 year old gentleman. And one thing, uh, very, very naughty. What's normal blood BP? Blood BP, what's normal? 120, 80. Also depends on age now. We allow for the older people up to 140, 90. But young people usually about 120, 80. Look at his level, what is it? 170. Much of hospital case, yeah. 170, 120. Normally this guy should be admitted and observed, but this fellow is very naughty. He won't want to increase his medicine. So he comes to us, can you help? All of us go, we try lah. But not our problem. This kind of case, uh, this is the kind of patient suddenly will stroke on you. So what happened? Now, yellow is the systolic, the higher one. Uh, red is the diastolic. Can you notice from 120, 180, 120, six months later, he's virtually normal. 140, I think it was about 90. We don't have the... And then he carried on. Remember, I always say carry on. So what happened? Typical fluke, accident, chance, cannot be. So he stopped. He stopped the water. And then after that, it all shot back up. And then, of course, after that, scared up. So he drank again and it came down nicely. Why? I repeat, it's not LO is a magic. It's not. It's because this person, obviously, his oxygen is a big problem. So until he can correct himself, how to correct? Ah, that one another lecture. So he stopped ELO and look what happened. So he started ELO again. So blood pressure reduced. And what's important is this question. People ask, if I stop, huh, will I get worse? No, you won't get worse. You just become what you were before. Alcoholic liver. This is a, a, a very interesting slide that always gives me trouble. Tell or don't tell? Why? This one's a 50-year-old Chinese lady. A lot of people I hear also in Malaysia, the ladies are learning to drink. And why? Because it's very atas. They drink wine. Nah. Okay? So what happens? It's a lady. Yeah? She drinks three, four bottle. Bottle. Nah. I didn't say glass. Nah. Bottle a week. She enjoy for many years. So naturally, what do you see? Okay, now you've got to follow. This is called liver enzyme. This is how we monitor the, the liver. It's high. Just, just take it from me. It's high. SGOT, SGPT. Look on the left side. Everything is up. So again, this is a case. She started drinking and you notice within one week. Is it one week? Yes, yeah, one week. Her, her liver enzyme start to improve. So again, she said, actually she's a doctor, she said, float, float, stop, stop. So she stopped and noticed within two weeks it went back up. Okay, so what we do again? She said, in that case, I want to drink back. Okay, I must tell you something. She didn't stop drinking. Huh? That means she drink a bottle of wine and a bottle of elo. What we wanted to do is stop the wine and drink the elo. But she said, let's do both and see what happened. So this is what happened. She still went all the way down. And I'll tell people, even though I tried to stop, now she goes to France, Vignan, with uh, her luggage and one suitcase of yellow water. So that she can still do both. So I always have a problem with this slide. Stop. We start. So notice the recovery. Fatty liver. Okay, do you all know what's fatty liver? Fatty liver is very, very, very common. 
In fact, a lot of women and men, men after the age of 45, many have. If you go to hospital, they scan you, liver enzyme a bit high, you're not a drinker, you're not you're none of that. But they'll tell you you've got fatty liver. It's exactly what it means, the liver with a lot of fat. In fact, it's very related to diabetes and all the rest. And there's a problem with fatty liver, and I think later on, Nato, I will wait. <laughs> he, he's going to share that song. <laughs> the speakers are also very sleepy. <laughs> but fatty liver, it's not treatable. Okay? And a small percentage run into very severe liver problems, small percentage. So it's one of those things in medicine we can't treat anyway. So what happened? So this lady, pre-diabetic, it's always very similar. And what happened was in, on the blood enzymes and ultrasound, she's found to have fatty liver. Meaning what? Just now the one I showed is alcohol. This one is not a drinker. But notice the liver enzymes are high. Okay, aga, depending on which lab you're using, anything above 35 is high, so that's high. And all she did was drink. You notice after a month and a half, it's normal. There is nothing else that actually shows this dramatic feature. We see it also in hepatitis patients. Hepatitis is also very hard to treat, you know, and in our Asian culture, it's quite high. So brought it down within a month, and look at that, the liver enzymes dropped by 50 to 60 percent. That's a very, very big drop. But there's a secret to it. Some people ask me why liver so fast. Now when you gotta go back to anatomy, we've got a special vein that goes direct from the gut. It's called the portal vein to the liver. So we see quite dramatic with liver patients. Wound healing. Okay. This, you're wondering where is the back of the leg? It's a uh, ischemic ulcer. That means the blood vessel behind that is that narrow. Now, focus on the left. Uh. For severe case, the protocol always looks like that. Meaning what? Um, you must drink 1.5 liter a day, what I mentioned. Secondly is there are three cycles of bathing. You bathe three times a day for 14 days. You rest 10 days. You do it again, 14 days, you rest 10 days, and then you do it 14 days. This is what we call a cycle. Why? Because all the tests from Europe were based on this. Um, here in Asia, we, we cheat, uh, but actually, I, since I'm on stage, I must tell you what's the proper protocol. Uh, okay. So you notice, the whole thing takes about two and a half months. Just remember these cases, anyway, nobody can do anything for them. You look by the time August and by the time September, the ulcer is completely healed over. Okay? Sometimes we ask patients, would you mind soaking for a thousand times? They said, no, if I can save my leg, because the other option for this is amputation. Okay? Normally, sadly, we wish everyone would send them early, <laughs> but we always end up, nobody else can do anything, can you help? So we make a one sign disclaimer. This is Venus ulcer. Again, you look at the regime on the right, it's always the same. Huh? This is 54-year-old male. Um, you know what's a Venus ulcer? A lot of people have very close veins, usually ladies after pregnancy. Um, but this is a guy, and this is what happened. Do you notice that after the soaks, if you times it out 14 times 3, times 3 is 126 soaks, okay? You notice not just the ulcer heal, but can you see the very close veins? Pointer double leg. Okay, the bottom slide, can you see it? The, the very close veins are gone. Diabetic foot ulcer. Have you seen anything diabe diabetic foot? Now, now normal diabetes, the long-term effect is either kidney, stroke, heart attack. But a certain portion of people, they get an ulcer and usually is there at the feet, the most vulnerable. This is the back of the heel. What's wrong with it? It's painful, it's smelly, and secondly, it's very often it results in amputation or they keep on having treatment, okay? In Singapore, in Singapore, not bad, the medical treatment. We chop two feet a day. We chop two feet a day. Malaysia, uh, you are a bit more population than us. So maybe, 10 to 15 feet a day. Mm. It's a lot. Huh? It's one of those hidden things. You know why? After they chop, all stay at home. So you don't see them. But you look to the family and to everyone, you, you know what a nightmare to have an amputee? 
So what happens at the end? They always send and it's this stage. Notice after 30 days, can you see it healing? By the time we are down to 60 days, the ulcer is completely healed. Again, uh, it's not magic. Uh. The patient, by the grace of God, healed themselves. Chronic palmering of your big thumb. What is this? You notice most people smoke, no problem, right? They look a bit blue, la. they look a bit... But some people who smoke, they become very breathless by the time they're 60 or 70 or 80. You know some people, I mean, they... <sighs> that is chronic obstructive airway disease. Okay? What is the problem with it? It's very difficult to treat. They'll just keep going to the hospital. We do what we can, send them out, sometimes heart problem. Sometimes junk okay, sometimes not okay. This lady is stuck at home. She's a lady, she's a smoker, she's 75 years old. And she's too breathless because they can't walk. They're already breathless sitting now. I want to show you what she looked like. So before we started her on ELO, she's stuck at home, she sits all day, and every month she goes in one time to the hospital, too breathless, okay? By right, she should be on oxygen. But because she can't give up her Nisa Roko, you, you know you can't have an oxygen tank with this, the whole house will go boom. In Singapore, we stay in flats. Huh? You just don't boom yourself, you boom down the whole block. Huh? So they didn't allow her. After ELO, that means she only started one month. You notice something? She had no more admission. Secondly, she can walk. She actually can go downstairs and sit in the coffee shop and go back up. Nothing else, you know. Dementia is always my favorite. This is a very interesting lady because she's from JB. What happened was her granddaughter is a Maswa in Singapore. And one of our people that goes to her regularly said, What happened to you? Your lymphatic massage so easy to do. So this friend said, Oh, that's because I've been drinking this thing called Enola. So she explained to her, this lady very clever. Malaysian lady, she said, maybe it'll help my grandma, you know, can I bring it back to Malaysia again, uh, this is before the days we all had it, put in the car, put in anything, I just bring it across. Her grandmother, on the other hand, um, is 85 years old, now dementia, Alzheimer's, not staging one, uh. how does dementia work? First, you forget, you forget, la. it's like, like uh, last time, I can remember that name now, I can't. Uh, I know many on the audience thinking it's yourself, it's true. Many of us after the age of 40, 50, we try so hard. I know your, I know your face. What's your name now? What's your name now? One day my friend said to me, I got a problem there. I can't remember my staff name. I said, oh, that's a serious problem. <laughs> now why? This is called memory loss, okay? But as it goes on, you forget people. Then you forget yourself and lastly you forget regular activities that means you, you can't your body can't even remember 